Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now tell me if this sounds familiar. You've spent like hundreds and even thousands of dollars. You spent hours studying for that very tough certification and you've finally gotten it, right? You, you've gotten certified, but the career growth that you were expecting or that uh, job offer that you were expecting has not uh, come around. So here's the ugly truth. Employers don't really care about certifications. They care about what you can do. What are the practical skills that you bring to the table and sometimes loading up on certifications can show you as a person who knows like a lot of theory but he or she lacks that experience which is required in this video i'm going to break down when certifications can help you and when they can actually uh, like sabotage your career so if you feel that you're stuck in that certification cycle i hope this video is the wake up call that you need for your career if you're new to this channel my name is Tamurish Lal I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services in the UK and I made this channel to give advice on you know cyber security AI cloud security so let's get started okay so what am I talking about here the ugly truth about cyber certificate security certifications you know a lot of people come to me they complain I've gotten this certification I've gotten that certification and I'm not like getting promoted, I am not getting that job. And they feel the solution is to get the next certification, right? Because this certification did not help. And that's a very, very dangerous mindset to have. And I've seen people, they start using certifications in the wrong way. And that's what I want to talk about. And I hope this really helps you out. Like, what am I talking about here exactly? So the confusion that comes when you're stuck in that certification cycle, where you, like you become like a certification factory, you do this certification one, two, three. And the only thing that you're planning for the year for when it comes to career growth is getting that next certification, right? And am I saying that cybersecurity certifications are useless? Absolutely not. Okay, first of all, I want to be very clear because if somebody jumps on top of me, like, no, cybersecurity certifications are awesome, you know? And I think cybersecurity is one of the very few uh, industries where you can get started with certifications, right? If you want, if you're starting out, you can go with the CompTIA Security Plus. If you like, if you are a manager level, the CSSP will help you out. If you can want to get more like uh, specialized, go with something like AWS, Azure, you know, all these options are available to you. But, but the problem comes when people treat them like a safety net. You know what a safety net is, right? You jump on top or you, like it, it catches you when you fall and you feel safe in it. That is the mistake. That is the biggest mistake I see people making. They treat cybersecurity certifications as a safety net. They get this false sense of security. They're like, okay, my career is secure. I'm making progress because I keep getting more and more certifications. That is a massive, massive mistake to make. Okay. And this is what I want you to focus on the mistake which you're talking about. And this is I want, what I want you to avoid at all times. These are I'm going to be talking about a few mistakes I see people making and the wrong way to approach cybersecurity certifications. And before we move ahead, like I said, this is just my 100% subjective opinion. Please don't get mad at me, but this is based on over like 20 plus years of experience in the industry and coaching hundreds and hundreds of people in like a cybersecurity calls and helping them in their careers. So what am I talking about here? The first thing I want to talk about is the first mistake I see people make is cybersecurity certification stacking. What is stacking? That you keep on stacking certifications on top of another, right? You see, I, you, you start out with the CompTIA or the Certified in Cybersecurity or the Certified Ethical Hacker. You do it immediately. You say, okay, now this is awesome. I've gotten this. Now I'm going to move on to the next certification. And you're targeting the CISSP or the CISM, right? So this is becomes your like goal. You, you, you think that you are actually making progress when you're not actually. All you've done is you've gotten one certification and you've gotten the next certification. You're not applying that knowledge that you gain. I have interviewed like thousands of people in my career. If I see a CV which is just full of certifications, the first thing that comes to my mind is maybe this person only knows theory because he keeps getting certification. Where is the practical experience, right? So what to do instead? Uh, First of all, after each certification, build something, uh, apply that knowledge, right? Uh, like maybe join, a uh, capture the flag, contribute to a security project, intern, volunteer, apply your knowledge in the like messiness of real world systems, you know, uh, apply it. Please do not let that knowledge get, go to waste that you've gotten from the certification. Anything you do, do not make the mistake of jumping to the next certification without applying that knowledge that you have gained in this certification, okay? So many ways, like I've said, you can like, uh, what do you call, contribute to a security project, capture the flag, maybe create a system, you know, write a project, anything, do not jump into the next certification without applying that knowledge. Uh, what, what is going to happen is if you keep doing on certification, this is like, uh, 
you're learning the rules of chess, but you've never played a chess game in your life. Do you understand? That is what I'm talking about. It's like you can read about uh, encryption all day long, but in unless you know how to troubleshoot uh, encryption or certificate issue on a production server, you don't have the skills, right? All you have is book knowledge. And that is the mistake I see a lot of people making. What is the next mistake? The next mistake builds on top of this, which is the same thing, which is doing certification instead of hands-on. And what happens is relying solely on certifications. If you're doing that certification stacking, it gives you a false sense of readiness. You feel, okay, now I'm ready to uh, approach like the, the job market. And I know, no, cybersecurity is deeply practical. If all you've done is like passed an exam and you've never applied that knowledge, all that will happen is you will understand security controls in theory, but freeze when it's time to configure a firewall rule or maybe like fix some SIM logs, you know, I can assure you, I can, without any doubt, I can tell you no certification is going to prepare you for your first cyber security incident. You know, when a ransomware attack happens or a DDoS attack happens or a production server goes down because of a cyber attack, that only comes with practical experience. Okay, no certification is going to pre prepare you for that. So what can you do? Uh, keep Have that mindset that certifications ha are there to augment your hands-on work, not to replace it, right? They are not a substitute for hands-on work. Create labs. I don't care how you do it. Set up your own virtual environment, you know, set up a virtual machine. Like you can use an AWS free tier and Azure subscription. There are tools like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box. So many websites are there, you know. I have many, many videos in which I talk about cloud security projects, create your own VPC, uh, create security groups, try to see what are the issues that are uh, happening, run a crawler scan, run any cloud security tool. Uh, so many like tools are there, but like I said, please get hands-on experience. Every certification should come uh, and you should follow up with getting hands-on experience. There are many freelancing websites like Upwork and Fiverr. You can go and volunteer your uh, experience there. Even on LinkedIn, you can go to a small to medium business companies, volunteer and say, hey, I'll do a free website review, a free cloud security review just in exchange for some testimonials. Okay. Try reaching out that. Otherwise, again, all you're doing is getting theoretical knowledge and you're not really moving forward. You're not really moving the needle forward in your career. Okay. And lastly, very, very important. And this is something, uh, this is more of a psychological thing. I'm not a psychiatrist, but <laughs> I'll just tell you, which is sometimes what I see a lot of people making this mistake. They do certifications to avoid real world challenges. And what do I mean by that? You know, like uh, facing your challenges can be like uh, very uncomfortable, right? This is what we, what you call procrastination in disguise. So maybe you're not good at public speaking. Or maybe you're not good at report writing. Maybe you're not good with people. Maybe you're not good at managing teams. And what you do is instead of trying to fix this issue, you like, you know, you try to bypass it and say, okay, I'll go do a certification. And you feel that you've accomplished something. No, you haven't really. You've avoided that problem that is there. You've avoided that challenge. This is just procrastination in disguise. You're just avoiding. You're avoiding that weakness that you feel in your career instead of facing it hands on. And I've seen so many people say this to me. I'll apply for that role or I'll apply for that public speaking event after I get XYZ certification. As if that certification is like a magic switch that you will become a different person after you get that certification. No, you will still be that same person who is afraid of public speaking, afraid of getting published, afraid of writing, right? And I know people who have wasted months or even years in this trap because they keep, uh, keep putting it off, keep putting it off and that what you call that they'll get more and more afraid instead of facing it right so what you can do like um sorry i sound like a life coach with this but <laughs> you know what i'm talking about face the discomfort you know face that issue if you are bad at public speaking you know go out and volunteer for public speaking you'll get terrified the first time i was there uh, i was terrified when i public like publicly spoke for the first time but it gets easier right uh, maybe volunteer for that tough project. You feel that you're going out of your comfort zone. You feel, no, no, this is not for me. I, I, I This is not my specialty. But it, I can assure you, like st stepping out of your comfort zone is going to make you grow in ways you did not imagine, right? Uh, real growth comes from friction, not avoidance. The more tough situations you are put in, the more you will grow as a cybersecurity professional. Avoiding it is not going to happen. No certification is going to help you there. So please, this is... I think easily the biggest issue I see that people try to avoid their problems that they have, the, the weaknesses that they feel within themselves. Maybe they're not confident. 
maybe they don't know how to publicly speak maybe they don't know how to write uh, in a good way right english is not their first language so please so please uh, accept that and like face that challenge instead of making yourself feel good by doing a certification which does not help you at all here okay and oh, lastly sorry for one more and assuming they guarantee a job uh, this is again a massive massive mistake your certifications help you get noticed but they are like a trampoline right they help you show that you have a baseline but nowadays the job market is considerably more tougher hiring managers want to see that you are good at communicating problem solving cultural fit and evidence that you can work in their environment right all these things uh, come into play certifications will not help you here so that is again very very important please work on your communication skills get better at those work on your interview skills uh, create a portfolio on github you know document what you've done like if you're working in cloud security do all those projects create a simple read me on github and document what you did like create content on linkedin like youtube whatever you, if you like to write do it on linkedin if you like to speak if you're good at public speaking do it on youtube right and network with leaders don't just blindly send them linkedin connection requests uh, comment on their posts and try to be as like like network as much as possible unfortunately people have become like they, they don't network as much as they used to in the age of social media and remember very very important please don't compare your chapter 1 to somebody else's chapter 20 don't look if you're starting out in a career don't look at somebody who's like 10 years ahead of you in your journey they had a different journey you had a different journey otherwise you'll just feel demotivated and you'll stop trying to like you know uh, in your career so don't compare yourself to anyone everybody's journey is unique i have like accomplished things faster than other people i have accomplished things much much slowly than other people but the more you the less you compare with other people the more you'll feel better about this okay so like i said am i saying cyber security certifications are useless absolutely not they have helped me tremendously in my career okay uh, i would not be in this position that i am without doing those certifications but you have to put certifications in the right place if you're using them to learn awesome that's great if you are using certifications to showcase your skills maybe you are good in cloud security or penetration testing so you did the ccsp or you did the ch amazing awesome but if you are using certifications to avoid challenges and real world experience that's a red flag if you feel like if you are using it to avoid challenges and real world experience that's a big red flag right there if you are not good at communicating writing and all that and you think a certification is going to help you it's not going to help you okay so i hope i have given you like a wake up call and like i hope this helps you i've seen so many people make this mistakes and it's also always very painful for me to see it so that's why i am not saying certifications are useless absolutely not they are an amazing thing but put them in their proper place do not use them as a crutch or as a safety net use them as a stepping stone and use them to get that hands on experience that is so needed so i hope this was useful to you i hope this like uh, this helps you uh, change your mindset in case you, you you are stuck in that certification cycles So please if you found this video useful please do like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video thank you